Good morning and welcome to this week's Paper Tray Ink Make It Monday video. I'm Lizzie Jones and this week we're making spinner cards. I made one for a release a while back and received several questions so I thought this might be the perfect opportunity to address them. These cards are fun, interactive, and totally easy. Let's get started. So to start with today, I have an A2 Aquamist card base. I have a panel of four and a quarter by five and a half cardstock, some basic sewing thread, nothing special, and some nice sharp scissors, and a couple of die cuts. Now to do this technique, ideally you want to use symmetrical die cuts. These hearts are just barely off symmetry, so I'm actually cutting, um, I'm stamping rather, on the back of one of them. Um, so when I die cut, I just used a clean cutting plate and made sure there wasn't any scarring on the back. I'm actually starting with that back die cut now. I'm going to stamp um, this heart image from the XOXO stamp set using Berry Sorbet ink. And um, like I said, as long as you use a nice clean cutting surface, you're not really even going to notice um, on something like this that it's the back of a die cut. On the front, I'm using Pure Poppy. And those are going to get sandwiched together a little bit later. But right now, um, I'm going to die cut the window in the actual uh, card front. So this circle is from the 1 and 3 quarters Limitless Layer Circle die collection. Um, it's just the basic circle. I'm going to eyeball this um, because I know I'm going to be doing some trimming um, to even it up later, um, but having the panel cut to um, four and a quarter by five and a half really helps me visualize where I want that die to go. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, just run this through the die cut machine and pop that out. And I'm going to do the same with the card base. Um, I've already got it scored so I can see um, sort of how things will line up. And I'm just trying to make sure there's an even edge on the top and the sides. Now if you wanted um, a flush card front, you could always um, cut your panel a little bit bigger or you could use um, a template made from typing paper or something. So here I'm just lining them up to see how close they are. They're actually really close, um, but I do need to do a little trimming. So I can see along the bottom and the left side, um, but I really want to give this a nice eighth inch border all the way around, so I'm just going to go ahead and trim off of all the edges that I need to make it sort of even up. One question I got a lot was um, how do you write a message on a card that has a window in it? And um, honestly I either write below the opening or I will write on a piece of decorative paper or you know pattern paper or something and um, I'll just slip that inside the card so when they're displaying it there isn't writing visible. So everything matches up, and I've sped this part up because um, you don't need to see it in real time. It's kind of slow. <laughs> so um, I'm just going through again with the images from XOXO, and I'm going to create a little bit of a cascade or collage, a diagonal collage of heart images across the front of the card just to give it a little interest. Um, and sort of incorporate that heart image a little bit into the front of the card. So it's not just sort of floating there, um, not connected to anything. So this will just reinforce the theme a little bit. And it's fun and colorful. It just adds a little bit of whimsy. And this is also a great way to um, just incorporate more color. So once that's finished, um, I'm going to work on the piece of cardstock that I'm going to die cut with my sentiment, also with the XOXO dies. So I'm just sponging some pure poppy ink onto berry sorbet. 
and I'm going to die cut that with the uh, word die from the set. I'm also going to die cut those other two pieces and then we're going to layer those so it gives it a little depth. And I'm going to place them on the card front, those die cuts, and line up, use them to line up my sentiment where I want to stamp the rest of the sentiment. The Valentine here I'm stamping in Stormy Sea ink. And now I'm going to put the spinner itself together. So I'm adding adhesive to the back of the heart die cuts, um, or at least one of them for now. And that's going to hold the thread in place. So here I'm just removing the adhesive backing. And you don't need a whole lot of thread, maybe eight inches at most. I double it up um, just to make sure that you really get great twisting action. And so you're going to go ahead and stick that to the exposed adhesive. Make sure it's nice and straight up and down. And then um, just to be nice and secure I add extra adhesive on top of the thread to make sure it's nice and locked in. It's maybe not necessary, but um, I just want to make sure that it doesn't slip. And once I remove that adhesive backing, I can then sandwich the other heart die cut in place. Here we go, just smush it together and watch it spin. So now you're just going to, I'm going to um, use my ATG to add adhesive to the back of that front panel. And I might as well do all of it while I'm, while I'm back here. So you're going to take, um, I'm going to take this the thread and the die cut and just going to line it up. Pardon my big head. It gets in the way every video. My apologies. So I'm just going to push it down nice and tight and then add a little adhesive again just to make sure it doesn't slip. Cut off the extra little tail there and then we can adhere this to the card front. So now it's all on there nice and tight and you can see it spin. Sort of a fun, it's just a fun uh, interactive element for a card. So I'm going to peel off the adhesive backing I have here on these die cuts and get those stuck down now that the, uh, the hard parts over. Make sure it's nice and centered once the whole phrase is there together. Push it down, make sure it's secure. And the second piece. And Now's the time to do any embellishing too. So I'm going to add a few sequins. These are from the um, Make It Market Mini Kit, the Sunshine and Rainbows Mini Kit. And I'm just using glossy accents to, uh, to adhere them. So here we, it just shows when you, so you twist it up before you put it in the envelope. And then when uh, your recipient opens it, it spins. So there you have it, spinner cards. I hope you'll play along with this week's challenge. Just head to Nicole Hetty's blog for the challenge details and to link up your project. This has been Lizzie Jones for Paper Tray Inks Make It Monday. Have a great week, everybody.